Well, hello everyone, it is me, Vex, and today I'm going to be telling you guys the best raid car raid token characters in Anime Dimensions. So, as you should know, the two times anniversary event um, is like one week away from ending, and you guys should have some raid tokens saved up, probably like saving up for a character or some what. And in today's video, I'm only going to be talking about characters that are limited, the ones that are going in like five days. I'm only going to be talking about, about those characters like Cosmic Wolfman and um, Gear 5 Luffy, who um, aren't limited or is going to take a long while before it goes away. I'm not going to be talking about them. I'm only going to be talking about the event exclusive characters that you can only get from this event right now. So let's just get straight into it. So, fifth best character you should get from the raid shop is probably like Esper. Esper is like a really good character. We're gonna be going into these, um, into the character testing. Alright, so the number one character you want, need to get, like before any of the rest of the characters, the first character you need to get is Vio. I've made a uh, video before uh, talking about why Vio is such a good character, but if you do not have Vio, I would even recommend spending Robux to get Vio if you um, don't even have enough uh, tokens and is not going to have enough by the end of the thing event. You should just get Vio. Like, he's just so good. Like, it's kind of like AoE. He has um, good range as well. The world is such an open move. It gives you invincibility and gives you all your um, attacks like zero cooldown for like five. I mean, not five. Like, a few seconds. Pretty sure it's like seven seconds. And your characters have like zero cooldown. So, yeah. If you want to know more about why you should get Vio, uh, just watch my other video. But like, this character is also just a boss in raids. Alright, let's go to number two. The one character you want, need to get, like before any of the rest of the characters, the first character you need to get is Vio. I've made a uh, video before uh, talking about why Vio is such a good character. But if you do not have Vio, I would even recommend spending Robux to get Vio if you um, don't even have enough uh, tokens and is not going to have enough by the end of the thing event. You should just get Vio. Like, he's just so good. Like, it's kind of like AoE. He has um, good range as well. The world is such an open move. It gives you invincibility and gives you all your. Um, Attacks like zero cooldown for like five, I mean, not five, like a few seconds. Pretty sure it's like seven seconds. And your characters have like zero cooldown. So, yeah, if you want to know more about why you should get Vio, uh, just watch my other video. But like, this character is also just a boss in raids. Alright, let's go to number two. Alright, so the next character you should get in the raid shop is Yomichi or Yomichi. Yomichi is a really good character, good AoE damage, then with his number 3 is also good AoE damage. He's, he, uh, I'm pretty sure like all his attacks are like basically AoE, like his, even his uh, number 4 is also an AoE, but it is a really good attack. You can do good damage. Uh, Yomichi probably isn't the best for raids, especially if you haven't awakened him. It's good for, really good for Dimension Zone. But if he did not have his awakening, he would be much, much lower. That's, and we're gonna look at his awakening right now. You get, like, look at that. It's just 
so good. Then you'd probably uh, like awaken your uh, pet's attack by then. You get this massive sword that increases your damage by a lot. So yeah, Yomichi, second place. Let's get into number 3. Alright, so for number 3 we have Naruto Beast Mode, or Naruto Beast. And he's really good for raids, especially if you don't have like Dio or something. He has Beast Stomp, which is pretty good. It's kind of like AoE. Not really good. His first attack is good, and plus it doesn't take that long to uh, reload. Okay. If this character had less um, like reload time, because 10 seconds per first two attacks, it's a lot. We got Beast Sharpen, which is also really good. Um, Nardo Beast is also like really good in uh, dimensions, especially when you're in dimensions like um, the villain dimension, where there's like lots of, well, basically all dimensions, where there's like lots of enemies huddled in one area, which is also good for infinite mode, which is another reason why I'd recommend VO. <laughs> Then his ultimate here, you can see. Stunning. It's just amazing. Uh, hold on, let me just do this so I can. So now we can test. Uh, we still can't test out his <laughs> number five, but yeah. Okay, we got it. His number 5, his awakening is really good. Boom. Look at that, like, just continues doing damage. It doesn't stop for a long time. Alright, number 4. Next up we have Son, Go Son God Tanjiro. So we have his 1, good attack, low cooldown. 2, another good attack. Plus it continues doing damage for a while. And again, low low cooldown. Number three. Again, really good. And low cooldown. <laughs> um Sun God Tonjuro is like really good for dimensions. And like infinite mode. I'd recommend not he's not like for raids and stuff, but he's definitely for dimensions. If you're doing a lot of dimensions. Uh, especially if you're like new to the game, um, yeah, I'd recommend this character. He's really good for dimensions. And then there's number four. Again, really good. Honestly, I would put him higher, but like the other two are just like, better, especially since rates and how important rates are. Alright, number five. So for number five, this is the character that I think that you should get as like your fifth character. Just, it's really good. He's fun to play with as well. Um, earthquake, good. Aerokinesis is also really good. Awakening, speeds you up, uh, deals more damage. Really good. Then we have his number four. Again, a really fun attack. And does do massive damage as well. Especially if you have like Divine Trait on any of these characters. They are all just beasts. As you can see. If you have like good assists as well. Uh, I don't have good assists because I have like zero characters, but so <laughs> if I did have good assists, um yeah, beast. Full on beast. But yeah, that's the, basically the whole tier list. I think after you have like Vio, Yomichi, uh, Naruto Beast, and Tonjos, uh, you should be good. You shouldn't need to. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can get Esper. Just depends on if you like playing fun or you just like playing efficiently. Uh, I'd rather playing efficiently until you have like a high enough level to the point that you don't need to worry about leveling up 
like around level 121 then you should be good you can just like choose whatever you want but, like i think like the first three or four characters that you should you should definitely get those and then from there on you should just like, buy whatever you want but i think if you're gonna make like a good team Vio, yumichi and tonjo best that's like the team you, you should make with um raid token characters so yeah that's the video guys hope you enjoyed if you did please like the video comment down below if i'm stupid uh <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time goodbye